For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We are in a day and an age today that man will receive man rather than God. And I make my point in New York City. When you man will embrace religion and yet our government will boo God. You remember when that happened? When our Congress booed Jesus Christ, God, and the Bible, and yet the Pope was received. And yet the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. It's in the Son. It's life in the Son. It's life in God. For the, for the Son is God, and God is the Son. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by a man, a man set by God, that you may have eternal life in the sinless blood, a perfection that lived about 2,000 years ago, that put his life upon the cross, that shed his blood, that you may have eternal life. And that blood is not to be taken orally, it is to be taken by faith, to believe, not to drink. If you were to drink blood, if you were to drink, if you were to eat someone's flesh, you would be called a cannibal. A cannibal you will not get into heaven. And if I tell you National Geographic stories about people eating other people, you would think it's gross, but yet that guy comes over here with his mask They're going to put you into a 
into a box. The day that you take your last breath will prove that you are a sinner according to the Bible. And the verse says the gifts of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. If I were to ask you, what are you going to do? What will you do? How will you enter into heaven? If your answer is anything but the Lord Jesus Christ, you are eternally wrong. I don't care what your religion, I don't care what your priest, I don't care what your pastor, I don't care what your rabbi, I don't care what your reverend has to say. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your preacher, your minister, your official of your religion, whoever it is, whatever it may be, is a liar and you tell them the Bible says they are. The only way to get to God, the only way, spoken by Jesus Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The record was settled long ago. That record was settled upon a cross, upon Calvary, Mount Calvary. That was your salvation. That was set before you because you cannot do anything to save yourself. There is none good. Don't come to me and tell me I'm good. I'll show you the Bible that says you're not good. You're not good enough. You are not likened to the Lord Jesus Christ, and only the Lord Jesus Christ could pay for the sin. The precious Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There is no room for your name in that verse. When those words were proclaimed by John the Baptist, he was talking about Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world. Two thousand years ago, you living today, two thousand years ago, you were on the mind of God. For God died for all sinners. And yet, not all will be saved. Many, Jesus said, will enter the broad ways. I see many here. Few will go through the straight gate. That straight gate ain't Simon Peter. That straight gate ain't the Pope. That straight gate ain't the priest. That straight gate ain't a pastor. That straight gate is not your mother. That straight gate is not Mary. That straight gate is the blood, the testimony of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 20:28 20, says God's blood paid for the salvation. If it's God's blood that was shed for salvation, then the one that died on that cross is God. Your salvation must be met by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, who is God. Ask me to explain it, and I can't. That is the Trinity, that is the threefold of God, three in one and one in three. And the one in the middle died for me. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. True love, true love is sacrificial. The Bible says, and everybody can quote the verse without finding where it is, God is love. And that is right. God is love. For God so loved the world. You know, you cannot know love unless you know God. And you cannot know God except you know the Lord Jesus Christ. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, you are loveless. You have no idea what love is. To you, to 
an American way, love is what I can get from you. If there was true love, there wouldn't be divorce. If there was true love, there would be no murder. If there was, if there was love, no one would be uh, mistreated. There would be no court. The fact is that you have a law enforcement as we have right here. Shows the fact that you are lacking God's true love. But the Bible says God is love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That love that God showed to you is a giving love. It's a love that reaches out to you. You may blame God of all the casualties and problems of life, yet the Bible says God loves you. God loves you upon a cross, a place called Mount Calvary, about 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ shed his blood that you may have life. It is the gift of God given by you. That is the love of God. But let me tell you what John 3.16 says. It says, for God so loved. That love is past tense, my friend. You cannot say, if you have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, that God loves you. You will do misjustice to John 3.16. For God so loved, God loved you upon the cross. John 3.16, love, has a D at the end of it. Your English language tells you it is past tense. Jesus Christ loved you upon the cross. If you have rejected, have never received God's love, you are not the love of God today. If you have rejected what God, God's gift to you, if you continually to reject what God has given you, God does not love you. Because you have not believed on His Son. You have not obeyed the Word. And if you are in rebellion, God cannot and will not love you. And whoever of your congregation or your church speaks about God's love, yes. The Bible says there is no love. For we continue in John 3, 16. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. Good morning. Morning. Hey. How come you don't have a crowd around? You get, you're delivering the best message that a person can deliver. And it's the same. You know, the Bible says that many. But your delivery is all wrong. No. Get some people up here. Do it right. Oh, we have people that come out every once in a while. Everyone is saying that you don't get sweating enough. <laughs> <clears throat> no. You got the perfect message, the perfect yeah. spot. Yeah, definitely. But, but when I draw by, I didn't see anybody here. So I'm like, you know, I don't know if shouting at them is a... Jesus said, many will go the broad way. Few that go there in. You've been called to draw them in. Yep. My draw problem is they won't come. Draw them in. Try, try, no, actually, try, we, we just told... John, uh, Mark 16 says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. What? What? And we deliver the message... It's up to them to come. We can't force them. You know, you know, the thing that Jesus you gotta invite them. You gotta get them in here. They, well, they don't know that they need this message. I know. That's the thing. That's why we're here. We try to be here every weekend to tell them what the gospel is. Try different. I mean, cause I'm just thinking. If I was just, well, we got a church that goes door to door. We, I, we I got know, a church. But I, was, I was thinking, like, if I was here and I and I heard you, I don't know if I'd come over. Well, we had some do. But, more than some. Well, you, know, you got you're. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Oh, the work of the Lord. I just preach the gospel. What like are you? you what, what actually? Uh, we're from, you, you we're from the land, Bible Baptist Church. No, 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 no. What What actually are you covering? Are you just hit and miss? Are you just certain spots or? Well, I mean, as far as where we are. Yes. No. What are you What are you talking to people? We're about? talking about the gospel, how Christ died what, for what, the sins. Okay. All right. The the basic. Yes. They know that. Well, not too many do. They know. They know. They know. You tell them about. How about like revelation, stuff that's coming up on them? That's not important. They're blood. It might be. The fact is that Christ died for his sins is the very first foundation. Thank you.
It's the very first foundation that needs to set. They got listen. They're lost. They got to be saved before they learn about Revelation. I don't know. I, I I just wish I like to see you be more. I like to see some people over here. Uh, I, I like. I, I love to see them come through in the masses, but just you know when you look at the apostles. They, Apostles went to jail for what we were doing. Paul preached on Mars Hill, yeah, that's and the people turned away. Yeah, that's absolutely. Well, I don't know. I just, I was just thinking maybe if you. Hey, listen. If somebody would come out, we would spend all the time we can with them. Yeah. If somebody were to get saved, I'd help them grow in the Lord and get right. That'd be a, that'd be a blessing. But we planted a seed. All the right. seed's getting planted. Sometimes just, the ground's hard. I would just like to see some people over here. Oh, definitely. You can, you guys, definitely. Maybe. Keep us in prayer about that because I'd love to see it. I know, I hear it, I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good luck. All right. <laughs> I mean it, good luck. <laughs> Have a good day now. Talking about the love of God. The love of God was set about upon somewhere near 33 A.D. That love of God was upon the cross of Calvary where Jesus Christ was nailed, where His blood was shed for you. Realize. Realize. Acts 20:28. 20, God's blood dripped for your sins. Your sins were paid for upon Calvary. The check is in the mail. You just got to sign it. That blood, that payment, that gift is no good unless you receive it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There's a gift of God because He loves you. There's a payment for your sin. And if you reject that payment, if you reject that gift, you have no more love of God upon you. I know it's not a popular message, but it is true. I'm not here to preach love. I'm not here to preach Jesus. I'm here to preach about your soul. You're going to die one day. And you're going to wake up somewhere in eternity, and I want you to hear about heaven. I want you to hear about hope. I want you to hear about no more pain, but I also must preach about the alternative, hell. Because more people are going to hell than they will go to heaven because they have rejected the gift of God, Jesus Christ. And today's John 3.16 is about the love of God. But again, John 3.16, love is past tense. I don't care what your ministers will tell you. There is no love of God if you continue to reject Jesus Christ. For God so loved. You cannot the love of God and not believe in Jesus. And as we continue in John chapter 3, listen, if it sounds like love, he that believeth on him is not condemned. There is no condemnation in believing in Jesus, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Does that sound like love? Does condemnation sound like love is God and God is love? No. I just busted some of your religious bubbles, and but that's the Bible. If you want to continue to say God is love, you've got to 
believe on his son. Outside the son, there is condemnation. Condemnation means, as we turn to John the Baptist, about the word condemnation, he that believeth on the son has everlasting life. Life comes by Jesus. I didn't say that. John the Baptist said that. John 3, 36. The Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 36, says you have life by the Son of God, which is Jesus Christ. I'm not quoting my own words here. I am quoting from the Holy Bible. Belief in Jesus, eternal life, that is God is love. And that is God's love towards you. But we're not finished with what John had to say. In John 3.36. For we continue... And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now is that the love of God to have wrath? That is not the love of God. And if you continue to preach God is love, you are a false teacher. You are a false prophet. And you will be charged as such as people who do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, God's Son. There is no love. The Bible says, Condemnation, wrath, upon those that do not believe. Refusing the Lord Jesus Christ, John 8, the Gospel of John 8, 44 says, You are of your father, the devil. The devil is the arch enemy of God. Satan has rebelled against God time after time after time. The angels, mankind, there is no love of God to Satan. Hell was made for the purpose of Satan and his angels. And if you continue to follow the way of Satan by rejecting God the Son, you are in the same classification as Satan, and there can be no love. Now, for the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. You will die. Because you're a sinner. Well, I'm not a sinner. I'll wait till the day you take your last breath and I'll say to you, you you going to make God a liar? Death is the 